Hi guys, this is GodShadowDeath11, and this is um, a review, actually, of Pokemon X and Y. Now, I chose this game to show for my review of Pokemon X and Y. Don't ask why I did. Um, that's not really important. Actually, I can explain. Uh, this game has a lot of features that, you know, X and Y did p pertain, as in character customization right here. Now, things that I want to talk about, I will talk about as they pop up. Um, here's the hairstyle. I will start with what hairstyle I set as my character when I played Pokemon X and Y, which was the blonde hairstyle. Um, I don't know what hairstyle. You can see in this, you have a little bit more creation here. In the game, you have very limited, so I'm going to go to... Yeah, oh, medium spiky with blonde. Cause this is your limited to sort things in the game, so I'm gonna limit myself to it too. Now, um, the character creation is actually pretty good in Pokemon X and Y. However, I didn't like the, I didn't like certain things. Uh, the char the it was just clothing customization. It wasn't really much of a character creation. Now, before I continue on further, I want to make a big thing saying spoiler warning. This does have contained every bit of the spoilers that I can. Um, reason why? Because it was Pokemon X and Y and I've recently beat it. Now, the editing did allow you to edit your tops, different colors, do those things. So I'm just going to go with black here and set it as the color. Uh, and here I'm going to do... I'm just going to do blue, actually. I'm going to do black for the shoes and then blue everything else. Because um, uh, that's what you start off with in the game, so... You start off with these blue clothes, really dark, dark blue clothes, and black pants. So there's what you're doing, and I don't know default dice there. Uh, so yeah, you start off like stuff like that. You get your character name up, which I'm gonna just name. This. And my rival's name is gonna be what my name was in the game. So, create character. Oh. No numbers? Okay, well. And then you get to see my other character, which I don't care. Uh, there, and you see here. Uh, another thing I like to start off. When you start off in your room, you have this big open space, and you go to talk to some. You go and click the mirror, and you're changed. However, when you go down here, you talk to your mom. You were originally in pajamas. Your mom would tell you to go back upstairs and change into your new clothes. And then she gives you an extra pair of clothes, and you're on, on your way. You meet the neighbor kids, and the neighbor kids want you to, uh, you know, they want you to go and see, like, they, you're chosen, because your mother was famous and everything, and I thought it was cool, and a famous mother. You didn't have this. Like this. This is a big thing that set me off in Pokemon, that you always had to wait for the professor to come see you. The professor actually didn't even want to see you, he just wanted to give you his Pokemon. And you're given a choice of three Pokemon with your, uh, your friends and then they all have this big conversation about it and finally he gives you your pokemon or one of them do and then your rival she chooses the other pokemon that's offensive to yours and everything and then you have a friend who i suspect has a very big love affair with you and she chooses um that one and i'm gonna choose the same typing as what i did well no i'm gonna choose my kanto starter that i chose the kanto starter i chose is bulbasaur by the way, you may notice that some of this stuff goes off screen, which I don't care. Um, right now, I'm not even in the mood to deal with stuff like that. Um, yeah, because I guess they didn't realize that you can smaller the window. But uh, I did. I made the window very small. So I can barely not even see anything. I just think I growl here. That That's fine. Um... Anyway, I love how all the Pokemon work and everything, and how the game went, and it's actually pretty cool how the starters were. The starters were pretty much, um, basic to the game, except they had a new thing where all the starters were quad effective as the third evolution, which made me so happy, quad effective. Um, I happened to choose, which is my favorite typing, is the dark type. Um, I happened to choose a dark type. The Froakie. I was Team Froakie from the beginning, and I happened to choose Froakie with the dark typing, and it was happy. It made me just extremely happy to do it. 
Um, certain things I want to bring up that were the... By the way, this is just a recording of a video. This is... The video here... Let me preface this real quick. The video here is nothing. This is nothing. Um, it just has qualities in there that I want to bring up. The next thing, the first route stuff, there's nothing there. You have no mission. Except once you go into a forest, which it is right away, and you also didn't have to deal with this. Um, you go into a forest, you, you don't have really a first route, anything but that you have a mission for, like this game does. And you do, um, all the other stuff. You do the first route, you go through it, and then all of a sudden you, your friend says, Hey, why don't we walk together and do our first steps into the region ourselves together? And yeah, well, that sounded cool to me, and I ended up doing, you know, we all did that... Friends and you walk together, or one of your friends does, and then you all meet up and you're the first one or something, and it's this big thing, you're gifted, which is really cool. Now let's skip forward a few things. The gems. They were amazing how they lined, lined you up to be, oh my god, I feel amazing. like I feel like I have this new power in me. Um, the next thing I want to bring up is the EXP share. Um, EXP game. And money win, actually. Money was increased because you have the new ability to change your clothes. And EXP was, incre was increased because you have the new ability to where now all Pokemon get EXP at the same time. Which makes leveling up very, very easy. Like, extremely easy. And I used to love, I could level up really quickly and it was amazing and yeah. And then you have a little bit of stuff like that that is cool and deserve a mention there. There's also the new way that the um, Pokemon Center looks and how you can also run on skates. Like here, you start off like this. You start off with your running shoes. And then you get skates and you get all these other things that are just amazing and I love them. Um, I love how the bike was different and everything too. Now, very similar to the old uh, standard of the game where you have very timid goals just get the Pokemon Championship and become the very best. However, they only added 66 new Pokemon, which a lot of people were disappointed in. And I said, hey, there's good reason there. 66 is like, maybe because that's all they had in files. And yeah, that was actually all they had left in files after adding in all the new 3D models and everything. However, they do have a little thing that they added in there, which I thought was amazing. You're given all these abilities to catch Pokemon real easily, and you're not having to do tedious missions for the for the professor that doesn't provide the story. The way you get your Mega Evolution is actually the tedious goal the professor puts you on. Like, hey, let's go do this giant stupid fucking goal, and guess what? You get the Mega Evolution. Another thing I want to talk about is actually that Mega Evolution. When I do Mega Ball, um, how you get the Mega Evolution is the Mega Ring. However, when you're, ri you're rival and you fight for it, and there's this thing where you now feel as if, what did I do? Was that okay for me to do? Did I just fight my rival and now my rival can never experience the happiness that I get from Mega Evolving? Yeah, you gotta think about stuff like that. You gotta be like, oh my god, what did I just do? However... Some people don't, if you know you don't have that kind of heart, where you're like, oh, I can do whatever I want. Um, that's fine. To me, it was like, hey, oh my god, I have to, you know, I got Mega Evolve, oh yay. But wait, my rival didn't get Mega Evolve. Aww, why didn't she? Well, later on you find out your rival does get Mega Evolve, that's another spoiler there. Um, so all this stuff like that, you get all these Mega Evolutions, you get all these cool things. And a lot of the best stuff you get is post-game, which is amazing, because I didn't want to really be focused on it. Like, I wanted, I didn't want to focus on anything, and I didn't want to just sit there and try to challenge myself to get all the Mega Evolution and Mega Pokemon, because I had to beat the game still. Um, but eventually I did beat the game, and, the, and you find out Mega Evolution is not as rare as you used to think it was. Uh, when you're first playing Mega Evolution, oh my god, it's so rare he only has one. No. Suddenly the bad guy has a Mega Ring. And then the the champion has a Mega Ring. And now your rival has a Mega Ring. And I think even Sycamore has a Mega Ring. It's like all of these big names in the game get the Mega Ring. It's like, yo, what happened to me being the only one? And then you have a well, Gym Leader who has it, but that was the other Mega Ring that the guy had. 
so it made sense. Um, but you get really pretty gifted pretty easily in the game, and it's, it moves along pretty quickly. Um, I think I've dated about 100 hours into the game so far, but that's because it's so addictive to play. And then, as you guys know, Pokemon has always been addictive to play. However, yeah, it's really not the same as... You know, the grinding sessions, like right now I could be grinding in the game in here, but I didn't have to grind back then, and I'm actually not going to. Nor am I going to fight my rival because there was no need to, I'm just going to run by and I'm going to do everything. So I just wanted to pour reference that before I get yelled at. Um, anyway, you also have these other things where now you can train your Pokemon EV styles, like the EV training, it's everyone loved! That gave competitive battle an amazing new feat. I can competitively battle, but now I don't have to, uh, sit there and wait, like, train against certain Pokemon. I can now just sit there and play this little mini game for, like, three hours, and now, oh my god, I have the biggest badass there ever was. Now, that's pretty cool, and if you enjoy doing stuff like that, then go right ahead. Do that stuff. <laughs> um, I did for a few Pokemon, and I'm not gonna say I competitive battled yet, because I really can't lie. I will say that I did do one battle with my friend, and we had a pretty good epic match, and it was amazing. Um, however, there are a little bit more stuff that you can do in the game that's not as similar to the old games. Like, you can make your Pokemon best friends with you, which I loved. I love the fact that I can make my Pokemon a best friend of mine. Um, there's all these other s stats and stuff. However, I want to talk about one last thing, and this is it. Fairy types. Fairy types have now pissed me off to no content. They were amazing when they were released because, oh my god, finally we have a killer to the dragon. However, fairy types have now become the biggest badass there ever is. And why should a little pixie be the biggest badass? Right? Why? Why is a little pixie the biggest badass? Because they wanted it in the types that only had two weaknesses. However, the morons at Game Freak, yes, I'm going to say this too, the morons at Game Freak ended up saying, Hey, screw that shit. Let's make a Pokemon with only two... Um... With only two weaknesses as the killer of all their Pokemon. And then they screwed over Dark Types. As you guys know, Dark Types being my favorite typing. Now, the, fa the Fairy Type is immune and super effective to Dark Types. So, if there happened to be a Fairy fighting, which I don't know if there is, and if there is, I'm gonna fucking give up Pokemon... I didn't check the types of all the Pokemon, but if they go to the next gen, if they do make a next gen, they make a fairy fighting, I'm done. Because that Pokemon would one hit KO any, um, set any dark type. And now, yeah, you guys are probably thinking, well, what about the Ghost Dark? Those are mainly, su amazingly super effective against, um, everything. Well, no, they're not. They're mainly super effective against the Psychic types for the reason of, it makes a little bit of sense there. And I don't even agree to the two Ghost Dark Pokemon there are, but there is so many Fairy-type Pokemon. And yeah, I know, there's a lot of Dark-types too. But these Dark-types have at least something in there to make them, like, weak to whatever it is that, you know, hitting them. But hey, I, who am I to judge? Um, I'm here, this was my 13-minute uh, review of Pokemon X and Y. I give Pokemon X and Y though. Out of any game, I'm very strict with my ratings um, on games, and I usually do them out of 5, which, again, it's more strict there. I'm giving Pokemon X and Y a 4 out of 5. This is no nostalgia base or anything. The reason why it loses value to me is because they wanted to be too much like the original generation that they actually messed up some of the great details in between. And the fairy type. The fairy type ruins it a little bit for me, too. How the fairy type became an uber effective just god killer, and now nothing can beat fairies. You just gotta get a seal or a poison, which are very rare types. They're not the most common type in the game, and they aren't even in the new games either. They're not very common to get a steel typing or a poison type. However, even poison type moves and steel type moves, if you didn't know, there are not that many Pokemon that can learn them either. So there's my little rant and review of Pokemon X and Y. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and comment. Um, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I do reviews, and I'm going to be doing some Pokemon Let's Plays. I know I said I wasn't going to do them again. I'm not going to be Let's Playing Pokemon Y, however. You guys are probably like, oh, you little dick. Well, I don't have a DS that has that type of recorder. 
I happen to have a regular 3DS, and I'm going to use Visual Boy Advance to emulate um, some fire red or leaf green, and then I'm going to use DS Mume for Heart Gold. And I'm going to do a Heart Gold Let's Play. Is going to be my next, my beginning Let's Play when I come back. So expect to see that later on. Um, okay, so guys, that was a good. That was my review on. Pokemon X and Y. The game copy that I happen to have gotten was Pokemon Y.